It happened in an instant. A massive bridge built nearly 50 years ago, gone in seconds. What happened in Baltimore was shocking, but it was a freak accident. And according to Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, not a sign of a bigger problem. How concerned should Americans be about the bridges that they're traversing every single day in this country? Well, this is a, a unique circumstance. Uh, I do not know of a bridge that has been constructed to withstand a direct impact from a vessel of this size. The bridge really did not stand a chance because of the size of the load that it felt. Maryland's governor says the bridge was fully up to code. In 2021, a federal highway administration inspection found the bridge was in fair condition. Still, experts say it was built at a time when shipping vessels were much smaller and engineers could not imagine an accident like the one that happened this week. In 2021, the CEO of Synergy Marine Group, the company that manages the ship that caused the Baltimore collapse, told Bloomberg, quote, traffic on the seas is different from what it was 10 years ago. We need to look at how the port infrastructure needs to change, how ships transit. Some bridges already have barriers to protect their support structures. Experts telling NBC News these protection systems should be installed at every bridge. But America's infrastructure is getting more and more attention. In 2007, the collapse of the I-35 bridge in Minnesota killed 13 people. Unlike Baltimore, federal investigators said a design error led to its collapse. And just last year, major fires caused the partial collapse of Interstate 95 in Philadelphia. In 2023, the Federal Highway Administration found 42,000 bridges were in poor condition. And experts believe the tragedy, while incredibly unique, offers an opportunity. I think that this is a, a call to action well, Ryan, leaders have vowed to rebuild as soon as possible. Realistically, it's not going to be a quick effort, as we just heard from the governor last hour. What are experts saying in terms of this? Yes, yeah, Savannah, there is no doubt that this is going to be a major effort. Uh, keep in mind that nearly 50 years ago, it took five years to build the key bridge. Experts say the best case scenario this time around is that would it take at least 18 months or even two years for the bridge to be back open. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.